TSW is one of those conditions that are usually non-infectious but inflammatory. Others include psoriasis, ulcerative colitis, rheumatoid arthritis. All these are inflammatory conditions in the body and in TSW, it's not just one body part like your hand, but rather it usually affects the whole body. It is systemic. Because the inflammation is systemic, a reasonable solution would be to use oral steroids to clear out the systemic inflammation so that your body feels better again. The problem with that is what happens when you taper off the steroids. Even at 5 mg a day, people start feeling their skin inflammation returning. And sometimes there's little point in going down to 2 mg or 1 mg tapers before fully withdrawing. In the treatment of non-infectious inflammation of the body, in this case, the skin, what is a good approach? In this kind of a situation, it is important to be able to bring down inflammation while helping the body regain its homeostasis. And this means the ability of the body to self-regulate. We want to use interventions that are able to bring down inflammation without engendering reliance. There is no one easy way, but we have done it over the last decade. In a good case scenario, it might take anywhere from one to three months and then it might take longer in the recovery phase where your skin is able to find its footing and require less and less of interventions to help reduce its inflammatory load. Caveat, at some point while going through recovery, you will know what your triggers are and therefore stay off them. Food is the most common controllable trigger. <laughs> the question is usually, can I guarantee you if it works? Uh, the answer is no. Most times when you come in, we will do a first treatment and you will be kept in close contact with me so that I can monitor your response. Your response is important. It's really hard to know if you're feeling better in a day, but within a week, you will have a sense. And if you're feeling even 10 to 15% better, you will have that sense. You want to ask if the redness has reduced. And if it has, then something's working. If you have erosions and crustings, you want to be seeing that you are weeping less, the erosions are drying up, you may end up feeling drier and maybe a, a dry itch, but this is considered part of the recovery. We want to dry you up. 